Uh, how you doing? Um, yeah, I ain't done much today. Fucking tired. Stone. Cut the beers, but yeah. Feel alright, just feel a bit fucking miserable, man. A bit lonely. I'll just be honest at the moment, mate. Even. I'm gonna be polite for once. You're gonna be shocked. Even a nice 30 to 40 year old woman wouldn't really do me much good at the minute. I'd be like, I'm not in your mood, home. I'm not fucking depressed. I've just been, um. I feel like I've got no fucking energy, man. But if I don't get high, I'm fucking panicking all day. It's just a fucked up routine I got myself into. I can't fucking really get out of it. But now I'm feeling like all things cunt. Um, scissored. Yeah, I'll tell you, mate, any old school fight fans, particularly when they've got everything on there, man, there's like all the epic American big fucking fights, HBO coverage and shit. Look at Holyfield, what a warrior! And then I've been watching, they've got all the classic for fucking any Brits or any like English fight fans that remember the good old days. Uh, a couple of black dudes called Christopher Eubank and Nigel Benn, and another black dude called Michael Watson craziness man they've got like the entire original live program that we all remember watching live when we were like 17 mate or something if you mean you know what you thought he's of course but um yeah they've got the ben mcclellan fight on there the american version and the original whole broadcast like, fuck that shit man i'm saying to this day ben fucking uh that victory mate that geezer was a cunt i know ben put him in a fucking coma and spasticated him but why are you gonna do Shit happens. It's not a fucking sibling contest. The geezer wanted Ben dead. He tried to kill him in the first round. Not to mention, apparently, he used to fucking buy Labradors and tie them up and set his Rottweilers on them just to see the fucking damage with his American pit bull. So I, I can't give a fuck, mate. He, he wanted Ben dead. So Ben said, fuck you. What a fucking performance from Nigel Ben. He just, he didn't throw one jab, he loaded up with every single punch. Terrible boxer, do you know what I mean? On that particular night, he wasn't looking to box, he was just looking to fucking sling haymakers. Obviously, hurt the geezer bad in the end, really bad, but it was the accumulation, he took some fucking brutal shots. But Ben was a legend for that, man. I know it worked out sad for the other dude, but it is what it is, man. Ben McGuigan killed the geezer in the fucking ring. It happens. Yeah, I mean, Ben Wigan hit hard for a featherweight, but you know, I mean, featherweights don't normally kill people in the ring. And obviously, Ben Wigan fucked him up, man. But do you know what's crazy about the Eubank Watson thing? Amazing, that second fight. Eubank, the fight was done. He was losing the fight. He'd just been knocked down. He thought, fuck it, I've got nothing to lose. Got up, bang, just walked straight up to Watson and just hit him with his fucking uppercut right through the middle. Watson didn't see it coming. Beautiful punch. Beautiful punch. Won him a fight. He was losing. And yet it's remembered for, oh, yeah, but look what happened to Watson. I'm sorry, mate. You know what I mean? And Eubank. But, it, you know I mean, you can't bitch about that shit. They know the fucking risks, man. And it, it takes away the victory of the warrior that fucking managed to fucking find a way to win. And that pisses me off. But, yeah, Eubank. The, the really sad thing about Eubank Watson was that it didn't only end Watson's career, it basically fucked Eubanks because he, he was never the same after that, mate. I mean, he was like, maybe he was afraid of doing it to someone else or afraid of that happening to him, I don't know, but it fucked him up mentally. He, he, he never went in for the kill after that performance and um, it showed like he fought on with warriorness and shit and still won a few fights, but yeah, he lost that kid of instinct. Which is understandable, but yeah, 